it's not aliens. So we do, we don't know what it is, but we do know that it's from something natural, from some astronomical object. Uh, and we know that it's from something, a very rare astronomical object, because it doesn't fit any of the models that we understand for the things we know about already. Is anything like this being detected before? There have been a very tiny number of objects like this. It has two really important properties. The first thing is that it changes in brightness by a hundred times in a really short time scale. And the second thing is the radio waves that are coming towards us are circularly polarised, which is a very rare property of light that is not caused by many things that we know about in space. So you're obviously speculating about what it could be. What does your knowledge and the knowledge of those around you lead you to conclude at this early stage? So we've ruled out some things, like we don't think it's a flaring star, for example, which is one of the candidates. And it also doesn't seem to fit the property of pulsars, which are another thing that we thought it could be initially. We've called this object a part of a group of things called galactic centre radio transients. But that's just a descriptive name. It doesn't really tell us what it is. So we have to do more monitoring to see if this is in fact, you know, something new and what these uh, galactic centre radio transients are. Now, the Square kilometre array, uh, in, an incredible piece of infrastructure. It's been around for well, about, a, about 10 years now. Is it, is it because of that that we're now becoming aware of these things and could they have been around before? Yeah, that's right. So ASCAP is just being, uh, has been developed over the last 10 years and it's just done its pilot survey operations in the last year. Now, because these objects are rare, and they don't turn on very often. Most of the time this object is invisible. It's really hard to find them. So the great thing about ASCAP is it sees thousands and thousands of objects all at the same time. So we can use it to find very rare things. This is the first thing like this we found with ASCAP, but I think it will be the first in many more discoveries as we start full operations next year. Mm, so what's, what's next in that search when things ramp up next year? So we'll be monitoring the centre of our galaxy uh, because we know that's where a lot of stars are. So a lot of uh, strange things are happening in that region. It's good for finding. But we'll also be looking at the whole sky. We'll be looking for the remnants of uh, gamma ray bursts, massive stars exploding. We'll be looking for the signatures of exoplanets around stars that are really close to um, our solar system. So everything from the distant cosmos to our local neighbourhood, uh, we should be able to, do, to reveal things with ASCAP.